name is John Savota. Um, I'm offering my services to interview leading candidates of the War Two teams in Trollhaven City Council elections. Uh, ben uh, from the Trollhaven uh, Labor Party um, is here for our, next, our second interview. And as a leading candidate for War Two, Ben, uh, Trollhaven, for the Trollhaven Labor Party, what are the main issues you will pursue if elected into the Trollhaven City Council? Elections on the 14th of September as a councillor. Well, John, thanks first of all for doing this. I appreciate it very much. And this is Rusty. This is your new puppy. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. He's not <laughs> running for. He's not running for council. He can't even vote. He's not old enough. No, mate. No. Priorities here are, are, are quite simple. Shoalhaven Council, uh, as we all know, as everyone out there knows, has had problems over a long period of time, over decades. So the priority for me um, is policy. Policy is what I'm good at. Governance is what I'm good at, and it's. It's not the most pretty, it's not the most, uh, uh, I don't know, gorgeous outcome, it's not the biggest promise you can make, but yeah. the council right now has um, an issue of, they build things and then don't maintain them. Now roads are a great example, things like that um, all over the place. And what we need in council is someone who's gonna go in and just fix that, create a base level, yeah. so the next councils can then build upon that and then we can bring the, bring the Shoalhaven council back to what it should be. For the, in the future, yeah. 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 And what are the, ma the major issues that you think our voters will be concerned about in this election? Just similar as that. Everyone I've spoken to so far has very similar um, yeah. similar requests. First one of those is clearly roads. Clearly, the you know I, I, we live down here. Jervis Bay Road is we drive it every day. Yeah. It's a safety hazard more than a yes. more than just a, a problem. It's it's um, absolutely shocking. There's a hole there in the budget, 21 million dollars, 34 million dollars to maintain the roads. That doesn't include the 21 million dollars to bring them up to a standard. So we need to find a way to fix that. Then there's just the basic stuff like the grass cutting. We don't want you know yeah. people with long grass next. There's fire hazards and things like that. Um, and uh, drainage is the other the other big one. And then one something close to your heart, mate. All the the tourist stuff. We don't yeah. uh, look at our tourists. I mean, look where we are here yeah. at uh, St George's Basin, one of the most underrated areas and wonders of our area. Getting around, and I'd yeah. like to see uh, some advancement in that and and helping. And looking at the tourists and seeing how we can um, leverage maybe some extra money out of them for the community as well. Right, and it's amazing that you've uh, touched on a few uh, um, major topics there, of course, and um, that leads up to our next question here, which is, uh, um, which order would you rate the following as importance um, in the, uh, for the, count, the elections in, in yeah. September? Uh, roads infrastructure, uh, not enough housing, Local buses advocate for proper bus stop infrastructure, local buses promoted within Shoalhaven Tourism. Uh, Shoalhaven Tourism to include the, the Basin Walk, the Rear Wetlands Walk in the Shoalhaven uh, Tourism um, materials. Uh, the Bay and Basin Library, which has already been approved I believe, focus on the local business economy to promote employment um, and uh, cater for the homeless people. Now these things have been taken from um, the uh, Facebook page show it, uh, the South Coast Local and Australian Government use where a poll was made and it was only a small poll but that's what came out of it there. Yeah, I understood and the, um, the fun thing is uh, that I think most of that's actually tied together yeah. quite a lot. So you talk about um, building an economy uh, for small business to operate includes making it easy for tourists to get around our area true, which true. jumps into the buses and then the roads on top of that for their safety. Um, I think there was one in there for the homelessness and the cost of living crisis. Yes. Um, a lot of that is to do with state government, so that goes past council a, a yeah. fair bit. What council needs to do is either provide the space or helps the state government bring in areas of, of uh, low cost housing and things like that, that so that we can improve that situation. It's shocking around here, it's shocking in Nowra yeah. um, and things like that. So we need to be able to help the state government get down here and uh, make those, give them the space to make the decisions for those people. Uh, that obviously sounds pretty good there, Ben, if you don't want me saying. And look, um, uh, with the Liberal Party candidates missing out on the running for the Shoalhaven local government elections in September, how do you feel your chances are to be elected and what are your thoughts on them missing out? Yeah, it's a good question. The um, I think it's a shame for Paul Ewell and Serena Copley have said it publicly. There are uh, I don't always agree with, with no, what they no, did, but no, they obviously no. work hard and they had the community's best interests at heart. Um, I'd like to think that people with a 
that were voting for the Liberal Party will look, they have to look at other options. Yes. Um, Labor Party being one, as much as the rusted on Liberal vote is unlike to Lovely look at the red shirts. That's yeah. it. But um, have, a, have a look at what we can provide and, and make an informed choice. The uh, We're not the enemy. We're, we're no. community warriors. So we're, uh, yeah, we're here and how will it affect our vote? And that's remains to be seen, I think. We'll see on the, on the um, night itself, won't we? That's exactly. And look in our St George's Basin area, and that's probably part of War 2, if you don't want to be saying it, probably part of War 3 a bit. One of the tourist attractions beside our uh, village uh, business um, hubs is a basin walk. Um, would you like Shorehaven Tourism to promote the basin walk, which starts at St George's Basin, continuing right through to Paradise Beach um, and ending up at Palm Beach? Um, also, would you support the Erie Wetlands Walk to, be, to connect to the Basin Walk and promote of the, and the promotion of it? And um, Basin Walk itself is look, it's, yeah, this is something I've walked a lot, and we spoke about that yes. earlier today. Yeah. Um, I've walked this area a lot, and very local. Um, you know, my parents' house, my uncle lives just around the corner here. Um, I know it quite well, and I absolutely advocate for that. Once again, St George's Basin is um, something that's a little underrated when we talk about tourism. We have the Hundred Beach Challenge. Um, all up and down around uh, Jervis Bay, yep. but nothing here, you know, within Sanctuary Point and, and this amazing space. So yep. I'd love to see tourism get into that. As far as the uh, connection to um, the Bearware wet, Wetlands, I'm not sure how that would how we'd manage that, but it's something we definitely should look into. So yeah, bring it on, bring the whole, all of it connected. That'd be wonderful. Excellent. And look, um, um, please explain explain to our. Uh, constituents or voters um, why a single vote for the Labour Party uh, for your candidacy will make our area a better place to live in? I, I think I touched on it a second ago the um, the reality is that my team the four of us uh, me and Leone uh, Michelle and John have been community warriors for a long time we know the community we live in the community so the problems of the community are our problems yeah. and we're willing to put our hands up to, to solve it my expertise is in governance and uh, and a few other things, and that's what I enjoy doing. Yeah. I've just spent a, a week in a federated kind of conference on federated systems for uh, governance. You know, it's just that's the policies we have. We're not promising anything big. We're just promising no. good governance. That's about it. And we'll make the the policy so that if we build something, we can maintain it for the future. If the the costings will reduce as part of that good yes. policy. And then we can collaborate more with state and federal government to make sure that we're getting the right opportunities for the people of Shoalhaven. That's that's our promise. That's what we do. That's our too. And look, um, the last question, Ben, it probably may sound like a simple question, but I'll leave it to you. Is there anything else you would like to say to your constituent uh, voters in War Two? Um, I'd like to say listen to your radio show Monday nights. Oh, that's part of it. It's okay, thank you. <laughs> no, I, I'd just like to say that um, once again the vote is going to be tight, it's going to be interesting. Um, collaboration and uh, respect in council is going to be a big deal in this one. And everyone needs to work together. Um, we have four really good, interesting groups uh, running, but I'll just say it's a little bit cheeky. This group, uh, vote for the same old people, you just get the same old problems. So have a look at Labor, have a look at what we're offering, and uh, look at my team, and uh, vote one Labor on 14th September. Right, and uh, look, I believe it, everyone uh, can uh, follow the Shoalhaven Labor Party Facebook page, for example. Um, and um, if they would like, anyone would like to contact yourself for support in either offering help or assistance with council matters, how can they contact you? Oh, please just message me through the uh, straight through the Facebook page. I've got my campaign one. There's the 2024 uh, council discussion site as well. Yes. On your site, I reckon if you send a message through you to me, you'd. you'd Get on there, so please just contact me mostly through Facebook's the easiest way, and uh, I'll get and, and I'd love it, I'd love for you to contact us because uh, that's how we find out about the problems and we find out how to solve them. We, if we're not doing this, as we've seen at the top of the hill in Vincennia, if you're not bringing the community along for the ride, then you know yeah, everything just falls apart. So please, members of the community, get in touch, we'll see what we can get done. Excellent, so you're really open to help um, our constituents out. And look, thank you for taking uh, time out today. I know you're working, Ben, um, uh, to be interviewed with my Rusty with me. Rusty, yeah, Rusty. <laughs> um, and uh, the interview to be conducted by me, which will be published in social media in uh, the next few days. Um, 
and uh, with the permission of yourself, of course, of course. And um, uh, it'll be it'll be actually just to let everyone know, we'll, we'll publish we'll publish it on the South Coast Local Links Australian Government News Facebook uh, site, and they'll be able to share it, and Ben will be able to share it from there too. So you're most welcome to put your comments on that on that uh, video if you want to post as well. Um, and um, I'm sure that the people out there. Yep, appreciate the time you've taken to do this interview. Thank you very much. John, thank you. And thank you, Rusty. Well done. He was very quiet. He was awesome. <laughs> Thanks, Dave. All good.